Hello everyone, we are from Glass CCO3, Look True. In this video, we will present about the concept and analyze data about petroleum prices, especially in Vietnam. The first section, introduction. Petroleum is an essential and important commodity in the national economy, affecting many social economic aspects. In the context of the epidemic, it is still necessary to ensure sufficient sources of goods to serve consumers. Therefore, our state always has a management policy for petroleum business. Petroleum plays a decisive role in stabilizing the market, making an important contribution to social economic development, social security, and ensuring national security, especially to ensure the supply of petroleum for social economic development in remote border, island, and other underdeveloped areas, ensuring benefits for consumers. Now we move to the concept of supply and demand. The first is the definition of supply and demand. The second is the law of supply and demand. The trust is the supply and demand function. This is the determinants of supply and demand. I will present later in a few seconds. The fourth is the supply schedule and supply rack, and also demand schedule and demand rack. Now we will talk about the determinants of demand. Let's define determinants. The first is basis. The second is income of the consumers. The third is order of goods. Expectations, number of buyers. Determinants of supply also have five determinants. The first is price of the good itself, input price, technology, expectations, and number of sellers. So we will move to the supply and demand in the petroleum market in Vietnam. Vietnam's true revenue rise supply 10 to 30 million tons of petroleum products annually, accounting for approximately 70% of local requirements. Another 600 tons, 300,000 tons are produced by some condensate draft lands in the south. Vietnam's annual fuel demand is 20.5 to 21 million tons. It imports around 11.5 million tons a year, mainly from Southeast Asia like Malaysia or Singapore, South Korea and China. So the elasticity of petroleum, we have the price elasticity of demand and the price elasticity of supply. So the price selling and price flow. The price of gasoline changes cyclically 10 day cycle. For retail establishments, must sell at a set price cyclically. They are not allowed to set the price higher, the price selling, or lower the price flow. Petroleum prices stabilization firm is a financial firm that is not included in a stable bid balance. It is constituted of the base price and is only used to serve the objectives of stabilizing the market. Domestic gasoline prices, according to the procedure of law, do not let the price of goods and service increase too high or increase too low unreasonably. So I will talk about the tax policy for petrol in Vietnam. Tax on petrol is a long-term policy of the government to ensure revenue for the state market. As you can see, at the time of June 21st, 2022, the price for one liter of road 95 is nearly 33,000 Vietnam dong. We can see the four main tax and some other costs. Uh, hello everyone, I will talk about my part on the outlook for energy market. As you can see that all countries and territories have access to the same gasoline price in the international market. But due to the difference in the tax and the production of each country, there will be different retail price. Uh, Vietnam has a gasoline price of uh, 1.015 dollars per liter. Now let's go to the countries which are specialized in uh, exploiting oils and uh, producing them. The gasoline price there is uh, relatively uh, low, which is about uh, 0 0.031 to 0 0.342 dollars per liter. Next, we come to the European countries. Uh, they have the gasoline price uh, quite high, as about 1.8 to 1.9 dollars per liter. Now let's talk about the uh, external impact of petroleum on human's life. Uh, this is uh, easy to see that uh, petroleum have a lot of impacts on human life. Uh, first is uh, the economic impact. Uh, in global economy, petroleum has a huge role in uh, controlling the economic. Uh, all the other industries such as uh, transportation, manufacturing, uh, use this energy source. Uh, if any change in uh, the, su uh, the supply or demand can have a big effect on the economic. Let's talk about the environmental impact. Uh, petroleum production, transportation has a negative impact on the environment. Ecosystem, species, and habitat may suffer significant damage from petroleum leaks and spills. It's in a burning petroleum products cause emission, which uh, can uh, produce uh, greenhouse gases and uh, 
it caused climate change and global warming. Let's talk about geopolitical impact, significant geopolitical ramification result from the management of petroleum and uh, petroleum reserve and production. A country with major oil reserve have a big impact on the politics and the economy. And now we talk about government intervention in the petroleum market. The government can intervene in the petroleum market by four ways. First, let's talk about the price control. Government can set the minimum or maximum price for the petroleum product to ensure that uh, petroleum is uh, affordable for everyone during the normal time or high demand time. Secondly, let's talk about taxes. Government can impose taxes on petroleum product to discourage the use and uh, they want to uh, enhance the the use of uh, alternative energy sources. Let's talk about regulation. Government can impose regulation on the product and distribution of the petroleum to uh, reduce the environment harm. And uh, last but not least, uh, subsidize. Government can provide subsidize to the producer or consumer of petroleum in order to promote its use. Now let's talk about the fixed cost. First is the cost of constructing and maintaining the refinery facility. Yes, and uh, secondly, is the cost that uh, we borrow the land and we uh, model the land and we have to ask for the permit for the construction. Next is definitely the salary and the benefit for the staff and we also have to pay the taxes and the insurance. Now let's talk about the variable costs. The variable costs are expensive that incurred by the refinery and it has a direct proportion to the level of production of gasoline. First is a crude, the, the cost of crude oil. It's a raw material which we use in producing the gasoline. Next is the cost of labor. This include the uh, wages and the uh, uh, benefit for the worker. Next is the cost for energy. The energy that we use to produce uh, petroleum or the oil is the uh, electricity fuel. Next is uh, the repair cost for the equipment and the transportation cost for moving the refined gasoline to the market. Now let's talk about the capital structure of uh, petroleum. Uh, we have the uh, capital structure of petroleum in the past four years. Now let's consider the year 2022. Uh, we calculate the debt to equity debt to equity ratio in the year 2022. We take uh, the debt 45 million. We divide by 27 million of equity. We have the result of 1.645. Uh, we can see that uh, this ratio is uh, is high. Uh, this indicates that uh, the company rely, relies heavily on the debt financing to fund its operation. Uh, and if the company faces financial challenge, such as uh, declining revenues or rising interest rate, it might struggle to miss its uh, debt obligation due to finance distress or bankruptcy. The 2022 global energy crisis and Vietnam position uh, first to to analyze and evaluate the, evaluate the impact of the specialization and strain first with the rise change in 2021 around 79.4 US labor carrier, then increase of about 70%. In 2022, continue to invest and train oil rice to up to 64 93 percent. The WTI oil rice up to 64 01 percent. The OPEC oil rice up to 64 38 percent. The impact of oil rice on the economy in 2022 is about global and economy lost a budget revenue to oil exporting country strong negative impact. Some estim estimations some international organizations increase global inflation. The International Monetary Fund global GDP growth to decrease by 0.5 percent. The Bloomberg economic inflation in US and Europe increased by trend by 0.5 percent. The United States conf confirmed on trade and development higher global import prices. Uh, Vietnam, Vietnam lost open com economy in process to recovery. The economic growth after the pandemic strong impact on global economy. The influence on administration and fiscal policy trade and trade revenue. The, the English increase the retail of price of wrestling and oil is actually affect the management and operation of gasoline and oil. The increase is commodity prices and this pressure on inflation and risk they are difficult due to the increase gasoline and oil import.
average, the average rise of petrol wheel products in the world between February 21, 2022, and March 1, 2022 increase. Limit the increase in petrol and oil prices to support production and business activity. In the operation period, the Inter Ministry of Industry, Trade and Finance decided to set up to use VOG fund for common days petrol and oil properly. Maintain the price difference between E5192 biofuel and RON95 minor gasoline at reasonable level. Lastly, it support the maintenance of petroleum supply. The petroleum price stagnation fund, no. The petrol price, the E5192 actually not higher than 626. 26,000 about the fact before pandemic, a reason rise and a reason quantity at P1 and Q1. When pandemic occurred, the rise and quantity increased to P2 and Q2. The follow whole lack of supply exceeds demand across, which is equal to Q3 and Q1. When a number of black market and illegal. Next, I will talk about the world and Vietnam potential after the crisis. In 2022, the price of natural gas increased, which leads to the fluctuation in energy prices, especially gasoline prices. This event affected many countries, including Vietnam. Therefore, many economies narrowed the scale of loosening monetary policy and world economic growth slowed down. However, Vietnam's economy still has stable growth. Moreover, the consumer price index of increase, also the core inflation is the same. About the impact of macroeconomic policy, there are many four things. First is the measurement of the price. The government directs Vietnam to use the price stabilization fund tool to limit the sharp fluctuation in domestic gasoline prices and continue to restore the bit the PLG fund to help models to manage the prices. Secondly is the assurance of supply. According to a report of Vietnam Oil and Gas Group, 80% of the demand comes from two domestic oil refineries, including Nissan and Concern, and the remaining are from the import. Thirdly, is the price stabilization. This is the duties of the Ministry of Finance. The Ministry of Industry and Trade has directed localities and businesses to implement the market stabilization program. They, they are also setting up the petrol price stabilization fund, for example, is E5 Long and 2 and Long. Here. Last is, the last one is the petroleum distributor. There are currently 332 petrol and oil distribution enterprises nationwide. These enterprises are obtained from many sources. 38 of the wholesalers nationwide, of which four businesses only trade aviation fuel at airports. About the retail system currently has about 17,000 stores. So, uh, keep continue with analyze the impact of micro variables. And the uh, first one is a consumer price index. The average CPI in the fourth quarter of 2022 increased by 4.41% over the same period as last year. And domestic gasoline prices increased by 28.01%. Uh, so, uh, so uh, overall CPI increased by 1.01%. And uh, the gas price by Gas price by 11 and 49 percent. Therefore, overall CBI increased by 0 0.17 percent. Uh, and about the inflation, the core inflation in December 2022 increased by 0 0.33 percent compared to the previous month, due to the petrol and oil price were a factor restraining the CBI growth rate. So, uh, about let's, let let move to uh, analyze and evaluate the impacts of fiscal and mon monetary po policy. The conflict, the, uh, the struggle between Russia and Ukraine affects millions of people and is a sub to global growth. A high price of commodities increase, putting significant pressure on inflation. The government assigned tasks monitoring petrol prices around the world uh, and analyze price and tax factors. So uh, that led to manage petrol rela related taxes. Use, and the last uh, one is use pet petrol rise, stay, stay be. Fund to ensure the selling price is set 
in line with the world price. And according to Jonathan Pincus, Vietnam used a, a price control to prevent high f- higher fuel price from creating higher inf- inflationary expectations. And foreign exchange ex- ex- and foreign exchange reserve to support the value of Vietnamese dollar. So about the last one is uh, about the conclusion. Uh, many key petroleum bu- businesses su- suffer losses. The Ministry of Industry and Trade can supplement and amend in the, in the direction of establishing more specific regulations for the petroleum supply system. There are also opinions on shortening the price operating cycle from 10 days to 5 days. And after 16 periods of increase and f- 15 periods of reduction in gasoline prices, not negate the efforts to uh, efforts of the executive agency on tax reduction and re- reducing the pressure and burden of Spain. So that's all about our uh, group presentation. So thank you guys for watching it.